as I say, it's suitable to occupy. You look at how the paving levels are set, got the drainage covered. No home is ever officially finished in legal terms without the big tick of approval by the building surveyor, who was yet to legally sign off on our home. All the safety issues, smoke detector, one of each end. <coughs> With our engineer arriving at the same time too, the pressure was on as we waited to pass the crucial last hurdle of this 12-month test of patience, hard work and human effort required to construct our new home. Yeah, from our point of view, it's weatherproofing and again the bushfire, we've got the metallic mesh screens on the, the window openings, um, the bushfire resistant timber for your decking and external cladding and you know, general waterproofness. As well as double checking finer details, like the finish of fire rated and energy rated materials, Ken also vitally ensures the home is built to the exacting standards required by state laws and Australian building codes. And when millimetre precision is often the difference between a pass or a fail, we nervously awaited the pending outcome. Yeah, so congratulations, Ray and Chris. Um, so there's your occupancy permit. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And with those beautiful, magical words spoken at 1.28pm, Friday, October 30th, 2015, our home was officially finished. Finalise a construction of any kind is definitely an amazing personal achievement and it's achievable by anybody. If you follow the right processes, uh, employ the right people and take your time and be methodical through the approach, uh, anything's achievable and this house is proof of it. For a couple of guys that make TV shows, uh, the workmanship here and the finished quality and even the architectural flair and design and the vision um, is, is exceptional. For more information about this series, please visit www.toppropertytv.com.au.